There is only one country we can call home, which is Nigeria. You are a Nigerian, I am a Nigerian. Hello and welcome to the program, The People. Today on The People, we are looking at things happening right here in our own country. First, we'll be looking at the issue of the local government election. Well, all these we'll be talking after now and also we'll be talking about the issue that has to do with tax invaders. And from there, we'll move on to talk about the issue of what is happening in the north, the insurgency. My name is Godspeel Rumble, and you know on this program is a program that finds the people's opinion on the street. Don't go nowhere, it's called TV News. I don't think the election was happening. What are the people saying? If they give it to the region, the south side, get their own process from I don't see anything, any necessity for that country. The police that we have now in Nigeria didn't do any amendment, it's still zero. Are they going to do? Are we right for it? Not that somebody from Agri could be managing for it. We are something by ourselves, and then we are still taking this off ourselves. The political system we run in this country is gullible. The people only on core tv news all right it has come to a notice that in some of our local governments the local government chairman or those elected are not really been given their role to handle and it appears that the caretaker committee are being asked to take over their appointment sometime in the state uh, for uh, a number for example for eight years have not had a local government chairman election right here on the street we're asking questions should the role of the local government chairman or those at the local government council be given to those uh, caretaker committee who are appointed by their governors? Right here on the street, people are talking. Let's go find out what they're saying. Have you seen caretaker governor? If there is no caretaker governor, why should you have a caretaker local government committee? It ought not to have been like that. It is because of the clients we find ourselves. That is why we are seeing such a abrations in our environment. Yeah, the case of that committee, they, 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 they will be there temporarily, they are not there permanent. You see, if somebody that is not qualified, not trained to be a local government chairman, or doesn't even know what to do about it, is not given the responsibility, I think it will have a great effect on the system. We want to know the job of the local government chairman. In my own point of view, I think that they should tie the roads in the streets, cover the gutters, provide water, maybe in a small scale, but it's not happening. Let us even have the election. You know, that's the better situation than what this caretaker committee thinks. So I, I, I totally don't see any sense in uh, appointing local government uh, committees, I mean, caretaker committee uh, to run uh, the affairs of local government. People in the council, if they are there, you know, the country, the country is so funny now, they may be hiding something. So if an answer comes here as an dictator, they can open up some kind of form if possible. Anyone that is not qualified to be a local government chairman, if there is anything to do, let an election be conducted. The uh, caretaker committee is clearly illegal. It's illegal. So they cannot take up the functions of an authentic local government. What are they really doing to share money? I don't think we should have a local government chairman. Perhaps it's about time Nigerians you know, stood up and began to you know, you know, query some of these things. So that let's see whether we can have a change. Oh, you're watching the people right here on Call TV News. And the name is Rumble Guards. We're right here. We're looking at the issues of insurgency. Looking at the continuous attack we've been having. Why is it that we cannot fight insurgency in this country? All these questions are on the lips of people and right here the people on the street are talking because it matters a lot. Life has been wasted. Well, I don't know. Let's go to the street and find out more. It has become a guerrilla warfare as far as I'm concerned. And in a guerrilla warfare situation, it's difficult to contain this insurgent. But you know, uh, this is due to years of neglect. And you find out that those that are quite involved themselves are well trained and you understand that you know the nature of things today in this country is such that we do things with impunity. The actions the suspicious of the leaders of those land, those area. I think those leaders should be monitored closely. If the military will be able to capture or to rescue the situation, yes, Obahajo has done it while he was in government in uh, Plato State. We had a, we had such an issue. 
But what he did was that he has to bring he ha, he, he bring in the administrator to that uh, state, and within short period we overcome the issue. So why that, why can't uh, government do that? Imagine they, they went to kill children, slaughter children, shooting children in a school, as in primary school for that matter. Not even they, they, those children are innocent. Nigeria should, should wake up. Let us give the power to those people that it belongs to them. Let's see if they can be able to handle it and let the killing of innocent people stop. I look at that uh, those attacks as not backed by any religion, but mere terrorists terrorizing our country. The best option to solve this problem is just negotiation. We don't need to keep the governor. Why don't you put administrator, military administrator, so I see what happened within six months. Some of these people, you know, are in the, what you call it, the Cameroon Mountains, and you need the cooperation of the Cameroon government and all other countries around that area to be able to fight it successfully. But more importantly, those who live in all these villages themselves should be able to volunteer information, and to volunteer information means that you must have confidence in the source. Average yellow nigger. This is Court TV. Always keep stay tuned to the people on Court TV News. Hi, my name is Tommy Ajayi. You're watching Court TV News. The people. The program is the people. It talks about you, it talks about me, and it's for everybody. It's a program for the people, of the people, and by the people. Don't stop watching. Stay. Hello Nigerians, my name is Ubani. You are watching the people on Core TV News. The people, only on Core TV News. Investigation reveals that all the ministers confirmed for position in the cabinet are all tax invaders. Only additional who paid 6,000 euros since 2011. And all these are the things on the mind of the people. Should tax invaders be allowed to all public offices? All this we're talking right here, still on the street. The people are saying, let's go find out what they're saying. Don't go nowhere. I, as an individual in this state of Lagos State, there are some rights that would be denied me if I fail to pay my tax. And there was an instance some month ago, I think sometime last year, October, my dad's car was being towed by the last man. And when we we're about to retrieve it, we we're not only going to pay the fine, but we also had for tax clearance for three years. So, we, and my dad has paid to pay all this for three years. I think he was only able to provide that of previous year, and they said that was not valid. It's only three consecutive years that should be provided, and he had to go and pay. So this also should apply to all. Nowhere in the country has that one been done. I came from Germany, but in Germany, passes. Everybody is right, you have, must have to pay. Because here in Nigeria, you cannot see. People are always, what they are after is uh, occupying the post and they are not even paying any tax. It's really disheartening to hear that uh, some public office holders have been invading tax. It's completely not acceptable. And I, I'm aware that it's part of our law that if you are evading tax, you are not supposed to be nominated for any public office. Talk less of being appointed. It's normal for you as a citizen to pay your tax. And uh, uh, why should the public office order, you know, the minister or whatever, you should pay the tax. Uh, I think they should pay tax. But this is really weird, it's the revenue to the government, and this big government can also use it to do some other, you know, project for the, for the country. The first thing is, is there any record in this country? I can bet you today, if you do an affidavit in the High Court today by 3 p.m., go there tomorrow morning, you can still file another affidavit. That person should not have a business in government because it's taxpayers' money they are presiding over, taxpayers' money that's supposed to be spending, and you are not contributing. There's no justification. They shouldn't be there. The rule of law is that there should be equity both office soldiers and then the masses. I believe our other citizens of this country pay their tithe and pay their taxes normally. And people are holding big offices in the country, they cannot pay their own tax. 
is a fraud. What they are after is uh, occupying the post and they are not paying any tax. So it's not good. They are not supposed to be allowed to pay to hold the office. Then they should be sacked from the office. Yeah. They need to check some other people also who are also in the government now, who are in offices now, to be sure that they comply with the available tax laws and also to go after those who have evaded in the past. You know, even in some advanced country, you know, it's kind of jail term. Yeah, it's kind of jail term. In fact, in the rest of America, you cannot, you cannot be taxed. You are caught in one, you know, the point of it. The only way you can tell Nigerians that you are a bona fide, reasonable Nigerian citizen is to file your tax returns. To know that you have been able to support the program's transformation agenda of the present administration. Very big thank you for being here with me today. Wow, without you, I wonder what I would have been doing, but you've been part of the show. I don't feel like going, but ah, I just have to go. Thank you for watching. My name is God's Will Rumble. God willing, tomorrow we'll be here. Thank you.